We now return to Hard Knocks CFL, training camp with the Toronto Argonauts. I hope you make it. You're real good. No way, not as good as you. I hope you make it. Hey, you like your reggae watered down and acceptable at a wedding? Hop on. How much do you make? Don't worry, Lois. I'm going to find that tricycle. I'll just have four to five beers to stop the shaking, and then I'll go outside. Never seen that kid around the neighborhood. Maybe he's got something to do with it. Hey, kid, you know anything about a tricycle that just got stolen from the park? <laughs> you couldn't have been here for three hours on this, the hottest day of the year, or the ice cubes in your pitcher would have melted. If anything, they can arrest you. Hey, here's the tricycle. You were right, Peter. This kid's a thief. We did it. Well, look at us. Here you go, Stewie. Don't bother sniffing the seat. It don't smell like nothing. When you find a baby's tricycle, it feels like there's nothing you can't do. Man, I wish we could quit our jobs and solve children's crimes full time. Guys, we're in business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. right. uh, wait a minute. I didn't notice you have a pierced ear. We can't help you. All right, guys, this will be the headquarters for our new detective agency. This milk crate will be my chair. This overturned rain barrel will be my desk. I guess all our detective agency needs now is a name. Well, we're detectives solving children's crimes. There's only one name that makes sense. Oh, we don't want to sound too old. They're going to think we're a bunch of old bald geezers. Big hairy dicks for kids. How are we going to let them know we're veiny? Well, I'll take care of that. Hand over the dime, buddy. Come on, hand it over. Don't make this hard on yourself. Holy crap, it's a setup. Time to make a quick getaway. You were set up too, huh? Yeah. You realize that kid is plowing both our wives right now. So, what do we got today, boys? Well, it seems like we got a bit of a crime spree, wiffle ball bats. Someday a rain will come and wash all this scum off the streets. One of the kids had a nanny cam hidden in his room. Come on, let's do it on your son's tiny bed. Hurry, he gets home at three. Forward, keep forwarding. Is that woman going to be okay? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. We're having brunch after this. Friends, naked, gyrating butt. It's been so long, I don't know what other friends do. Oh my god, Chris stole all that stuff. We gotta search his bedroom. Fine, go ahead. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be a bigger waste of time than writing tough guy dialogue for a Jet Li movie. This is your last warning. Give me back my wife or you're in a lot of trouble. I'll kick all your faces, but I have to say for audience... a weird life-size lady doll made out of all the stuff that got stolen. What the hell? Chris made a sex doll? Your kids got a walk-in closet? Two of mine got to sleep in the car. Chris is still in his room with that disgusting homemade sex doll. He actually thinks it's his girlfriend. I know, it's weird. Maybe it's our fault Chris has such a screwed up idea about what a relationship is. I mean, let's be honest, we're not exactly the model of a healthy marriage. We do stuff. Just last week, I let you watch me complain after eating too many hot wings. Why? Okay, Peter, I gotta take the kids to school now. Hey, Chris, your mother wanted me to talk to you. Um, she doesn't think it's healthy for you to be spending all your time with a homemade sex doll. Yeah. Oh, but I'm such a loser, she'll never let me do that. But you are every bit as good as that bag of garbage. You really think so? Sure I do. After all, I'm the guy who taught old Asian people how to get on the subway. Okay, Chris, now women really dig those fireman calendars. So we're gonna go inside and get some sexy shots of you doing fireman stuff. <sighs> Look, Heather, the truth is, I don't care if we never take it to the next level physically. <laughs> wow, I am gonna have to write to somebody about this. Until my taped together soccer ball headed girlfriend fell in my lap. Hey, do we still have a magazine? We now return to yet another Indiana Jones movie. Is everyone warm in here? Is it warm? Brian, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It just seems kind of... Oh, my God! Unbelievable! Brian throws up once and you rush him to the vet. I was throwing up all night last night. Good start. Keep it up, snack pack. Really, I, I, I got more energy than a cruise ship conga line. Brian, your blood work shows that your liver isn't functioning properly. Would you happen to be a drinker? Well, I, I don't know if I'd label myself a drinker. I... Brian, have you ever heard of Lou Gehrig's disease? <gasps> oh, no. Well, you have Mickey Mantle's disease. It means they have to be inserted into the patient's anus. Oh, you're right. Now, you'll need to administer these pills because no dog ever voluntarily takes a suppository. Bum looks like that guy with a hundred cigarettes in his mouth. All right, Brian, it's time for you to take one of these pills from the vet. Oh, yeah, right. Can we do what we normally do, where you roll it up in a piece of cheese like you're fooling me? Oh, no, 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 that is not happening. No, 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 I do not go the butt way. Yes. Brian, Brian, no! Shouldn't be too hard. 
After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. Ghost the Weasel! All right, if I'm gonna give Brian his medicine, I should probably watch that old episode of Lassie where Timmy has to give her a suppository. Kids, everybody, family meeting! There's too much passing gas in this house. So from now on, anytime you gotta cut one, as soon as Brian does it, I'm gonna be on the other side and I'll stick the suppository in. No, absolutely not. I am not living like this. You think Morgan Fairchild has a fart hole in her house? Ah, <laughs> oh, Morgan. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 Brian. No, no, you win. You win. Thank you. Yes, it is my liver, and I don't want to take that pill. Fine. We're both in agreement, so let's just both watch TV. Get over here, you idiot! Stop, Peter, what the hell? I'm still in I, charge of you! Stop it! Damn right I did, and I'll do it again if you don't stay the hell away from my ass. But, Brian, the vet said... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lois, can you pour my juice? I can't lift my arm. I still can't believe Brian bit you. It just doesn't seem like him. Oh, uh, hey, Brian. Get out of that chair. Leave the eggs. But this is my breakfast. <laughs> yeah! Now return to an 80s teen movie at a realistic high school. You going down at that karate tournament? I don't think so. Uh, uh, morning, sir. So, Peter, I assume if you're watching TV, that means you already did all my chores? All right, I need you to buy a birthday present for my friend Jeff. He likes the Packers and surfing. First thing tomorrow, I'm taking Brian to obedience school so we can get him back under control. Man, I love college. So many chicks, so many parties. Pay for coffee later in the common room, but until then, I'm just gonna walk around with my shower caddy and see what people wrote on their whiteboards. Listen up, maggots. You're in my house now. There are no belly scratches here. There are no table scraps. What we have here are good dogs. dogs. No crime-solving camera mugging scooby dooby dogs. All right, first of all, it seems like you have a lot of opinions about a lot of comedians. And second of all... Oh! You seem like a prime candidate for the chair. <laughs> Honey, did you hear a dog scream? Yes, I did, dear. Hey, Brian, you're back. Come on in. Are, are you sure? Yeah, what, what, what do you think? I'm going to make you stay in the yard? Get in here. Sir, if it takes the rest of my life, I will repay you. I'm your pet, and, and I'm just happy to be here. Brian, what did they do to you at that school? Y you're so submissive. Of saying that, bravo, master. Master? And a surprisingly quick erection for Stewie. There you go. You, you look very dapper, sir. Thanks, Brian. God, I love the new you. That obedience school really schooled you in obedience. Permission to take fast, tiny bites of my own tail, sir? Granted. No occasion, Lois. I just want to piss a couple of guys off. Cleveland, what are you looking at? I'm on the edge. Saw Halloween 2 last night. Brian, go outside. Keep guard for Michael Myers. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh, yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. All right, somebody say something else. No, you need to know what you did. Hey, Brian, you know, you know what we should do? Let's you and me go pee in Meg's bed. That's, that's always fun. That, that, that'd that be peeing in the house, and that, that's that's bad dog stuff. That, that, that's not good dog stuff. You sent me to that school to change me. It was your turn, wasn't it? First I went, and you went. We used to be so close, but now we seem so different. Whoa! Hi, guys! Hey, Lois, you noticed ever since Brian came back from obedience school that things have been weird? What do you mean? I mean, the thing I always loved about Brian was that he wasn't just a pet, he was a friend. I think we just have to accept that this is how he is now. Don't forget he bit you, Peter. I mean, what if he bit Stewie? How about you bite me, bitch? I know what I gotta do. I'm sorry, was that too harsh? It sounded more playful in my head. <laughs> ah, damn it! What the hell, Peter? Oh, oh, oh my god! That's the appropriate response if anyone gets near Uranus. Look, we were wrong to try to change you. Yeah, you know, you were fun. We got into trouble together. We get. Uh oh, uh oh, I just rubbed my eye with his finger. My... I want things back the way they were, too. That's what I want. Look, I'm really sorry I bit you. I've missed you, too, Peter. Welcome back, buddy. And now I'm gonna go upstairs and pee in Meg's bed. No! We're gonna go pee in Meg's bed. Good boy. Hey, what's up? I love you guys.
guys are the best. Not women. <laughs>